the Will Levis era has officially begun in Tennessee. Titans head coach Mike Grable announcing that Levis is the Titans starting quarterback moving forward. The rookie out of Kentucky filled in for Ryan Tannehill the last two games as he's been dealing with an ankle injury he suffered week six against Baltimore. Grable says Tannehill will back up Levis going forward when he's healthy. The Rams are signing Carson Wentz, according to NFL Network insider Tom Pelissero. Matthew Stafford missed last week's game with a thumb injury. Pelissero also reports the Rams are waiving Brett Rippon, who started in Stafford's absence. And Bears quarterback Justin Fields was limited in practice Monday and Tuesday as he remains day-to-day with a thumb injury that's kept him out the last three games. The Bears host the Panthers tomorrow on Thursday night football. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. This year, Staples will not be celebrating the holidays. Instead, we're celebrating the holiday deals with amazing savings for the holiday season. Save 50% on custom holiday cards. Save 50% on custom invitations. And save 50% on custom photo gifts like mugs and calendars. During Staples holiday deals, it's not about the ho, ho, ho. It's about saving do, do, do. Save 50% on custom cards, invitations, and photo gifts today at Staples. At 1216, visit staples.com slash print for more details. COVID-19 has cast a spotlight on the stark inequalities that drive poverty. The poorest communities in the U.S. and around the world are suffering the most. Oxfam believes we can put systems in place to protect health and livelihoods in the future if we work together with dignity and compassion. Learn how you can help offer safety to the most vulnerable and fight for a more resilient future at OxfamAmerica.org. Sponsored by Oxfam America. We are the Imperial Valleys, AM 1230, KXOL Central California. It's a Wednesday, already the eighth day of November, 2023. I'm Carol in the newsroom, Gene. Yeehaw, oh, Gene, you yeah. look like you're ready for cattle call. Cattle call is on its way. Okay, but do you, do you really need the spurs? The spurs? Yeah. Well, sometimes you do, so you okay. got to have them regardless. Okay. Yeah, as they jingle, jangle, jangle when you walk, right? That's right. And, you know, sometimes if you really want to p- play the part, you've got to have the spurs. I suppose. Your friends don't really like it, but... Yeah, the horse isn't real thrilled either. No, they're not. They have a, <laughs> a, a bad look, a sad look on their face. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, cattle call, and uh, when are the rodeo performances again? Rodeo performances, Saturday night, and uh, I mean, sorry, let's start right. Friday night, Saturday night, and a Sunday matinee. Okie dokie, yeehaw. Mm-hmm. Okay, a- and uh, on Saturday, I'm not sure whether I'm going to wear a cowboy hat or my uh, veteran's hat. Since Saturday is Veterans Day. Well, I've heard what they are doing is saying equal time. So, okay. You know, you half of the uh, the rodeo competition, you wear the one hat and the other half, you wear the other. Okie dokie. Everybody's happy. I guess. Let's see. On this date in 1789, bourbon whiskey was first distilled from corn by the Reverend Elijah Craig in Bourbon County, Kentucky. <laughs> and... Since then, pretty much no one in Kentucky has been sober, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what I've heard. Okay. Well, somebody said it's the water. They, You know how they have the uh, brew, brewery, uh, microbrewery tours? Yeah. They have distillery tours as well in, in Kentucky. And that's where your liver is pickled? I suppose. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I had never been much on bourbon, so I... Oh, I thought you were going to say, I haven't been much on pickled olives or livers. No, either. That, that either. And, uh, well, a new American Heart Association study has found that daily marijuana use leads to higher risk of heart disease, which eh, I find kind of weird. Marijuana use, the use usually leads to... A 2 a.m. run to Taco Bell. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. Where are the Doritos? Uh, birthdays, are you ready? Ready. Let's start off with our big shot birthdays. Bonnie Bramlett, Delaney Bonnie and Friends, 79. Singer Bonnie Raitt, 74. 
former CEO uh, of Playboy, Christy Hefner, Hughes' little girl, 71. Actor Alfre Woodard is 71. Singer, songwriter, Ricky Lee Jones, 69. Chucky's in love. Uh, singer, actor, Life Garrett, 62. Gordon Ramsay, 57. Actor, Courtney Thorne-Smith, 56. Actor, Parker Posey, 55. Actor Gretchen Moll is 51. Actor Matthew Rees is 49. Actor Tara Reed is 48. Actor Dania Ramirez, 44. Actor Jessica Lowndes, 35. Singer, actor Riker Lynch, 32. Actor Van Crosby, 21. Local birthdays just ahead. It's the Peanut Patch in Yuma. The Peanut Patch. What a great place. And Donna and Pat at the Peanut Patch celebrating their 26th anniversary. A special celebration scheduled for November 18th. There'll be vendors, lots of samples for everyone. There'll be tamales. The Peanut Patch. You'll find them in Yuma. Easy to get to. Just Google the Peanut Patch and uh, go by. You'll love the Peanut Patch. Open Monday through Saturdays, 9 till 5, Yuma time. And you'll find homemade chocolates. You'll find fresh English toffee. Pecan turtles that are to die for. You'll find so many great items at the Peanut Patch in Yuma. And remember, the Peanut Patch ships all over the world. The Peanut Patch in Yuma, a great place to spend a day. Let's say happy birthday to Ceci Gonzalez, Myrna Dorame, Vicky Pereira, Veronica Servine, Gabriel Leva, Betsy Oliver Uribe, Myra Carrillo, Abraham Pavela, Pablo Diaz Jr., Christy Sanudo, Hector Martinez, Nico Morales, Chris Haywood, Felix Rodriguez, Jennifer Garcia, Mary Platero, Nicholas Servine, Victor Lopez, Erica Perez, Betty Jo Arce, Brittany Van Flew and Manuel Corrales. Happy birthday from KXO. Okie dokie. All right. Happy birthday. Yeah. Another new report out. I love these reports. Chocolate ice cream has been proven to significantly reduce emotional and physical pain. That is until you step on a scale, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. I, uh, chocolate, uh, chocolate's okay. Well, it's really good for you. I, it is, yes. The uh, this week it is. Yeah, give you an idea, you know about you know the way I look at things. Vanilla is my favorite ice cream flavor. How <laughs> <laughs> vanilla well. is? Huh? Yeah, I'm just kind of a vanilla type guy. Well, what can I say? I yep, can say a lot. I guess. Okay. Well, let's say it's time for the news. World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by your friends at Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Lock, they are your year-round comfort specialist. CBS News Brief. Former President Trump's daughter Ivanka is testifying at her family civil fraud trial in New York right now. State Attorney General Letitia James spoke outside. Ivanka Trump secured negotiated loans um, to obtain favorable terms based on fraudulent statements of financial condition. Political analysts say a vote in Ohio to enshrine abortion rights in the state constitution could be a sign of things to come for 2024. Aaron Baer, president of the Center for Christian Virtue. We stand ready to advocate for women and the unborn just as we have always done. Culinary workers in Las Vegas have reached a tentative agreement to avert a strike against Caesars Resorts, the union's Ted Papa George. We plan to be very public about making sure that we get a great contract and putting pressure on these companies to do what they need to do. Deal still outstanding at MGM and Win. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760 93 
three L O C K E. That's seven six zero nine three L O C K E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over forty years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number six nine six two one six. CBS News Brief. Former President. California headline news. No arrests yet in the death of a pro-Israel demonstrator who apparently fell and hit his head during a confrontation with a pro-Palestinian demonstrator in Thousand Oaks. At the scene, deputies determined that the altercation with Mr. Kessler, he fell backward and struck his head on the ground. What exactly transpired prior to Mr. Kessler falling backward isn't crystal clear right now. Ventura County Sheriff Jim Fryoff, 69-year-old Paul Kessler, identified as the victim. A man arrested in Huntington Beach, accused of killing his 54-year-old girlfriend in Arizona. Her body found in the trunk of the car he was driving, her car. Based on interviews and investigation, that led the officers to to search a vehicle in the area where a female victim body was discovered. Police spokesperson Jessica Cuchilla, 34-year-old Richard Rodriguez of Holbrook, Arizona, charged with murder. Southern California Edison customers could have their power shut off this week because of Santa Ana winds and high fire danger. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. For repair, for replacement, call the experts. Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. In Big Tobacco's fantasy land, children are the future. Here, tobacco companies are committed to higher education, offering scholarships to students who submit essays about the benefits of vaping. The tobacco industry even sponsors summer camps for kids. Don't worry, the tobacco-sponsored programs have been linked to leaving your kids more interested in smoking. In Big Tobacco's fantasy land, the world's deadliest industry is your child's friend. See reality at undo.org. It's page one of the local news, a service of El Centro Motors Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. They have three locations in the valley at El Centro Motors in the Brawley Auto Center and at the Imperial Valley Mall. Oh, and don't forget their mobile service. It goes where you are. Taking a look at the latest in local news, a copper thief arrested. George, or uh, Carol Buckley has more on that story. Imperial County Sheriff's deputies arrested a man suspected of stealing copper. At about 1.30 Saturday afternoon, the Sheriff's Dispatch Center received a call about a suspicious man riding a bicycle near the intersection of Highway 111 and Shartz Road. The man was carrying a bundle of copper wire. Deputies were able to locate the man. 44-year-old Herman Arteaga Ariano on Old Highway 111 and Malin Street in Brawley. Ariano told deputies that he found the bundle of copper near a drainage canal. Deputies aware of frequent burglaries at the Mesquite Power Plant on Old Highway 111 near Keystone Road went to the plant and found fresh bicycle tire tracks and shoe impressions that matched Ariano's shoes and bike. The suspect later admitted to stealing the copper wire. He was arrested, booked into Imperial County Jail on charges of burglary, possession of burglary tools, trespassing, and grand theft. The copper valued at $1,000. In other local news, the Imperial County Board of Supervisors is looking for applicants uh, for the Imperial Valley Health Care District Board of Directors. Residents of Sealy and Ocotillo are encouraged to apply to serve on the inaugural board. The passage of AB 918 created the new countywide health care uh, district and the board will include members from throughout the valley. More information and applications are available on the Imperial County website. Members appointed to the initial board will not uh, be eligible to run in the first round of elections for board seats. 
KXO News Time 743. Before you head out on the road, head into El Centro Motors Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. Ask for the works. Train technicians will change the oil using up to six quarts of synthetic blend oil. Change the filter, rotate the tires, top off the fluids, check the belts, hoses, battery, and brakes, all for one low price. It's the works at Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers at All Central Motors, the Imperial Valley Mall, and the Brawley Auto Center, or with their new mobile service wherever you are. Continuing with more local news, registration for IBC is open. It opens for the 2024 winter and spring academic sessions at the Imperial Valley College. Priority registration period for the five-week winter session open Monday and will continue through the start of the intercession on January the 2nd of 2024. Registration for the spring semester also opened on Monday, November the 6th, and will continue until February the 12th of 2024 when classes begin. That concludes this edition of Local News, page two coming up. Page one of the local news, a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers, three locations in the valley to serve you. Remember, Quick Lane services all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Roto-Rooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialist. Roto-Rooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Roto-Rooter is a locally owned family business with 60 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789 or 344-2533 on the north end. Roto-Rooter, when drains don't work, we do. Page two of the local news and weather brought to you by Burgers and Beer, serving the best burgers in town, daily lunch specials, and uh, don't forget happy hour, 3 p.m. till 6 p.m. daily. In other local news this morning, an El Centro community meeting. Carol Buckley filed the story. The City of El Centro will host a community meeting this evening at the El Centro Public Library. The meeting is to discuss the Imperial Avenue Complete Streets plan. The meeting begins at 6 p.m. It will include food, activities for kids, and other goodies for those who do attend. And again, that's at 6 p.m. at the El Centro Public Library this evening. In other local news, a woman was cited after she reportedly fell asleep in her car parked in the 700 block of Linray Avenue in El Centro. Police were called uh, to the area shortly after midnight following a report of a car parked with the engine running and the lights on. The car had apparently been there for about an hour Officers found the woman, driver, asleep at the wheel. A field sobriety test indicated that the woman had been drinking. Officers cited and released her on charges of driving under the influence. KXO News Time. No, in other local news this morning, almost 600,000 pounds of unneeded prescription medication were collected during the DEA's National Prescription Take Back Day on October the 28th. The unneeded medications were collected uh, nationwide during the event. For more than a decade, the event had removed nearly eight million pounds of unneeded uh, medications from uh, medicine cabinets throughout the nation. According to the DEA, removing uh, unnecessary medications from uh, the home can prevent medications from being used improperly or illegally. We'll be back with a look at the weather. At Burgers and Beer, we appreciate our United States veterans with all of our hearts. Your dedication and service to our great nation is deeply appreciated. After all, we owe you our freedom. To thank our veterans, we'd like to buy your meal this Veterans Day, Saturday, November 11th at Burgers and Beer. Bring your military ID and your meal is on us. 
We feel like it's the least we can do for what you've done for us. You have our deepest gratitude for your sacrifice to our country. Thank all of you veterans from the Burgers and Beer family. Offer excludes alcohol. Here's Carol Buckley with the weather update. The National Weather Service says a dry weather system will mostly bypass the area to the north today, but it will at least bring a noticeable cool down with highs dropping into the upper 70s starting today. Breezy to locally windy conditions are expected across the Imperial and Yuma Valleys today, while drier air spreads over the entire region behind the passing cool front. Dry conditions expected to continue through the start of next week, while temperatures warm to slightly above normal starting this weekend. 84 the high in the valley yesterday, 54 our overnight low. Wind gusts peaked at 33 miles an hour yesterday. Today will be sunny with a high near 79. West-northwest wind 10 to 20 miles an hour, gusting up to 25 miles an hour. Those winds turning out of the north. Clear tonight with a low around 55. West-northwest wind about 15 miles an hour. Gust as high as 25 miles an hour. Thursday will be sunny with a high near 78. North wind 15 to 20 miles an hour with gust as high as 30 miles an hour. And right now downtown we're looking at 58 degrees. 63% our relative humidity. Wind is out of the west at 5 to 7 miles an hour. And uh, just a heads up, Forrester Road closed today from Worthington Road to Keystone Road. That closure till 4 o'clock this afternoon. Page 2 of the local news and the weather brought to you by Burgers and Beer. The place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bring the family or meet your friends at Burgers and Beer. We want you. Volunteers of America Southwest is hiring teachers right now. Work where you make a difference. Come work at Early Head Start El Centro. Volunteers of America employees enjoy great benefits with medical, dental, vision, and retirement plans, along with paid vacation and sick leave. Join a great team of teaching professionals dedicated to the education and social development of infants and young children. Do good work that touches the mind, body, heart, and spirit. Call 760-322-1420 or apply online at voasw.org. We want you to help us help these families by hiring you. Make the call at 760-322-1420 or go online at voasw.org and discover all the great opportunities that await you. And sports time brought to you this morning by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the very best care. NBA action last night. It was uh, the Mavericks uh, beating up on Magic, 117-102. Mavericks 6-1 and one on the year. And meanwhile, the Warriors whipped the Pistons, 120-109. 76ers beat up on the Wizards, 146-128. Pacers pummeled the Spurs, 152-111. Knicks over the Clippers, 111-97. Heat edged the Lakers, 108-107. Thunder topped the Hawks, 126-117. Bucks beat the Nets, 129-125. Timberwolves, they beat the Celtics. 114-109. Rockets rolled over the Kings, 122-97. Bulls beat up on the Jazz, 130-113. And the Nuggets, 134. The Pelicans, 116. Well, the uh, Las Vegas Raiders made a change last week. Yeah, Antonio Pierce is the interim head coach and uh, brought the team a victory. On Sunday, uh, Pierce, you may not be aware, uh, well, he went from a high school coach to the Raiders interim head coach in six years. Yeah, I did. Pierce spent four years as head coach at Long Beach Poly, which is typically a uh, Southern California high school powerhouse.
Pioneer's Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneer's is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneer's Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. And uh, college football playoff rankings, Ohio State, um, well, they're the number one uh, team in the uh, football rankings. And, um, yeah, what does it mean? I don't know. And uh, in other news, the uh, Rams have signed Carson Wentz as a backup. Matthew Stafford still questionable as to whether he will be able to play. And uh, Friday night, high school football, Mickey Dale, George Grahava will be at the 50-yard line for the Tigers from Imperial and the Warriors from Fallbrook. They'll be in Fallbrook for the Division Three football playoff game. We'll be live on the KXO website, kxoradio.com, starting at 645. John Driffle and I will be in La Jolla. It'll be the Vikings from La Jolla High School and the Central Spartans, CIF Division II football playoff action. And uh, we'll be on AM 1230 and the KXO YouTube channel. So uh, what about uh, girls flag football brawly? We'll uh, meet Tory Pines in the uh, semifinal girls flag football action. That game on Thursday. Calexico will play San Diego Academy in uh, also on Thursday. And um, let's check uh, what else is going on. Well, Imperial. And uh, Santa Fe Christian will be playing. And uh, the, well, the winner of the Imperial Santa Fe Christian game will meet Classical Academy. I don't have that score. Uh, that's it for Sports Time. Sports Time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. In today's highly competitive business climate, your company's image is important. The printed materials your company uses conveys a major part of that image. Our graphic designers have the talent and expertise to create a lasting impression for your business. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers virtually any type of business solution to meet your needs. From business cards and stationery to computer forms, full color brochures and posters. Let our excellent service and attention to detail provide the best impression for you. Locally owned and operated, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you this morning by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. Southwest Security also offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. Well, the uh, blockbuster hit Barbie brought in a record $1.5 billion for Warner Brothers Discovery, but the company still reported a $417 million loss for the quarter. That was bigger than what Wall Street had uh, expected. The company, however, reported a narrow profit when taking into account adjustments for certain items, including interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. Warner Brothers Discovery, the owner of CNN, needed the revenue boost from Barbie to achieve a narrow 2% increase in sales. The company's revenue came in at just under $2 billion for the uh, quarter. And um, General Motors says uh, they're going to invest in a uh, startup 
in Minnesota that will be making electric vehicle motors. Their plan is uh, move away from depending on China for the uh, equipment. Looking at the big board right now, we're seeing red, the Dow down two and a half points at 34,150. The uh, S&P 500 off one and a half at 43,76. The NASDAQ off uh, 25 points at 13,614. Gold down $14 an ounce, oil down $1.38 a barrel. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. Two years ago, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. So if you're tired of dealing with the inconvenience of our post office hours, and you would like to be able to get your mail when you want, Saturdays, Sundays, holidays, in the middle of the night, then come visit us at Southwest Postal with 24-hour staff. Plus, we're also your local FedEx, DHL, and Postal Service Center. We even offer text message and email notification when you receive your mail. Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Heil in El Centro. It will be sunny today with a high near 79. West-northwest wind 10 to 20 miles an hour, gusting up to 25 miles an hour. Those winds will turn out of the north later. Clear tonight with a low around 55. West-northwest wind about 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 25 miles an hour. Thursday will be sunny with a high near 78. North wind 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts as high as 30 miles an hour. Right now, downtown, 58 degrees, 61% relative humidity. Wind coming out of the west, 5 to 7 miles an hour. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services, offering 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal, 4th and Heil in El Centro. Our morning news show from 7.30 to late, it's available on our YouTube channel. Did you know that? Well, you know it now because I just told you. CBS News just ahead. The best oldies. Oh, El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Steve Kathan. Ivanka Trump on the stand today in the civil fraud trial that's angered her father, former President Trump, and imperiled the family business. New York Attorney General Letitia James. He's inextricably tied to the Trump Organization and to these properties that she helped secure financing for. CBS's Scott McFarland says she, unlike other family members, is not a defendant in the case. She's expected to face questions about the value of her New York City apartment and two of the businesses over which she had oversight. Trump's Miami golf course at his former Washington, D.C. hotel. Abortion rights supporters scored another political victory in yesterday's Ohio voting that ensures abortion rights in the state constitution. CBS's Jerika Duncan is in Columbus. This is definitely a litmus test for the Republican Party, which at least here in Ohio was very adamant in terms of where they stand, and they wanted to vote down uh, this measure. When I spoke to the ACLU executive for Ohio, he said that without a doubt, this is a flashpoint. People will be paying attention in terms of what to do next. The U.N. says more than 15,000 people fled northern Gaza yesterday alone as Israel intensified its air and ground campaign against Hamas. Government advisor Mark Regev tells the BBC Israel is not looking to occupy Gaza long term. We don't want to rule over Gaza. We don't want to govern the people of Gaza. We prefer that they govern themselves. We have no intention to reoccupy the Gaza Strip. On the other hand, we can't ignore the security realities. We do so as our, at a peril. Some Democrats joined with Republicans in the House to censure Michigan Representative Rashida Tlaib over what she has said about Israel's response to the Hamas attack last month, including the use of a slogan that's seen by many as calling for Israel's eradication. The idea that criticizing... The government of Israel is anti-Semitic since a very dangerous precedent, and it's being used to silence diverse voices speaking up for human rights across our nation. Off they go, three giant pandas heading back to China now. It's a sad day for Nicole McCorkle, the keeper at the Smithsonian National Zoo in Washington, where they've been thrilling crowds for years. We have to be sure that there's plenty of food on board to keep them happy while they're and uh, satiated while they're traveling. I'll certainly be sad when they're not here, but uh, to have been a part of something so amazing for so many years has uh, been the highlight of my career. Adidas says it may write off the remaining $320 million worth of Yeezy shoes left unsold after it cut ties with Kanye West. The company said it could, could actually sell them next year to try to generate donations to groups fighting anti-Semitism.
Wall Street, the Dow is down seven points. This is CBS News. You don't need a job platform. You need a hiring partner. Indeed lets you schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from one place. Start at Indeed.com slash credits. Wendy's new breakfast two for three dollar biggie bundles let you create your own delicious combo. Choose from a sausage biscuit, egg and cheese biscuit, small seasoned potatoes, and a medium hot coffee. But it's obvious which combo's the best. Sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. Well, maybe it's the fresh cracked egg and cheese biscuit with a medium hot coffee. Or two savory sausage biscuits. Uh, whichever you pick, you can't go wrong. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new two for three dollar biggie bundles. Limited time only. U.S. price and participation may vary. Not valid in a combo. Single item at regular price. ABC Tonight is country music's biggest night. The CMA Awards, live. With performances by Luke Bryan, Lainey Wilson, Jelly Roll, and Kay Michelle. Old Dominion with Megan Maroney, Carly Pierce featuring Chris Stapleton, Daniel Tucker with Little Big Town, and more. Luke Bryan and Peyton Manning host. The CMA Awards, live. Tonight, 8, 7 central on ABC, and stream next day on Hulu. Las Vegas hotel workers and Caesars have reached a tentative contract deal, but a strike still looms against MGM and Wynn Resorts. If they don't get it, they'll shut it down. Get it! We don't get it! Culinary union workers in Las Vegas have set a strike deadline of 5 a.m. Friday against major resort companies if new contract agreements can't be reached. We plan to be very public about making sure that we get a great contract and putting pressure on these companies to do what they need to do. Culinary union treasurer Ted Papa George says his membership is underpaid and overworked by Las Vegas casinos and resorts. Jim Crisula, CBS News. The striking actors union says it spent 10 hours in deliberations yesterday after a meeting with studios the night before. The studios presented what was termed a final offer. The union, SAG-AFTRA, plans more deliberations today. I'm Steve Kafin, CBS News. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. I have no words for it. I'm kind of shocked right now, actually. With Carol Buckley. Not that I like it, but I do. AM 1230 KXO. Welcome back. 